Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 3481 and the regulatory model for this one is a P89G and those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker which you can see on the left side it will say Dell Inspiron 3481 and the regulatory model would be on the right side it will be said as an REG model P89G and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can speed up add extra RAM and increase the RAM or remove your RAMs in case you want to. I made a short video how to find out your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop or PCs. I'll leave that link in the video description in case you want to see what's the maximum actual capacity that you can have. But if you want, we have upgraded this laptop up to 16 gigabyte with no issues. Again, if check the link and if yours can hold up, up to more, there's no program to be installed, it's directly from Windows. So you can do it. So let's get into it and let's get started. The tools that I'll be using is an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best tools out there. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, on the bottom of the laptop, you can see a whole bunch of screws in here. All the screws are the same size and height, except uh, three screws that will never come out because they have a little C-lock on the other side. Those screws are the left corner one. This is like a kind of triangle right here. These screws, you have to loose them up until they start making that click sound. Once they start doing that click sound, you can stop rotating. And the reason for this uh, C-Locks is in there is for a reason I'll show you in a minute. So we're gonna go start removing all of the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out through your own repays, upgrades, or servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now the rest is easy, all you need to do, the reason that those screws didn't come out because of the C-lock, what the C-lock it does, it will push the cover away from itself, so it's easy for you to stick the guitar pick in there. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take advantage of that lift that they created, and we're gonna work ourselves through here, and we just wanna twist it like this. You wanna hear those big clicks, that's what you wanna hear. You want to work yourself in the front end. We're just putting it in there. Let me see if it's gonna focus. And we're just gonna twist it. You want to do this all around in the front end, side to side. Until you get to the back corner. Once you did that, just close it down. Put face down and grab the bottom side, wiggle it around, and it will release itself from the back end. All right, right away we can see the RAM dims right here. There's a RAM A, RAM B, it says DIM B, DIM A underneath. To remove the RAMs, first people get paranoid that like, oh, you should remove the uh, battery. You do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. But if you want to be paranoid, you have to lift up this tape over and pull this jack backward, but you do not need to. If you do remove the battery, your BIOS is gonna be set to default. So if you have any configuration set on the BIOS, you have to redo it. So that's the reason I do not remove. In order to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to put the two fingers at the side of the RAM on the triggers and pull them away from each other. And the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. And you wanna pull it out in the same direction. Do not yank it upward, otherwise you're gonna crack the dim or you're gonna break the RAM. Always pull it back in 45 degree angle. Doesn't matter the orientation of the RAM chip or anything like that, doesn't, doesn't have to matter. As long as the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIM. So you wanna bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way inside the jack, make sure it's inside, and then push it towards the motherboard and you should hear two soft triggers clicking. And that's where they open and they close. And that's, you know, the RAM is in place. These are a DDR4 RAM, so you can place an 8 gig and 8 gig. I'll leave the link for the compatible RAMs in my video description. 
So that's how you replace and you remove. Let's say if you get a new RAM, just bring it in 45 degree all the way in and plug it right there. When you boot up the laptop, it might take to five to 10 seconds for it to show anything on the screen because it's gonna do a RAM check first. All right, next, what we wanna do, you wanna grab the bottom cover, you wanna bring it on top, you wanna squeeze the front ends, the sides, but we're not gonna touch this end which there's a C lock on the screw. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna tighten up the screw and it's gonna pull the uh, palm rest to itself. And that's what you wanna do. And the last thing is to put the rest of the screws in its uh, bottom casing. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.